because what they do is they create an entire meta in the game around 3v3 and 2v2 combat. So that means that somebody's effectiveness in a 1v1 situation, which is what most PvP encounters are, and also someone's effectiveness in a battleground large-scale situation, which is what a lot of other PvP encounters are, especially in vanilla WoW, is not taken into consideration, and classes are not judged on that type of merit. So because of that, I think that Arena caused the game to be balanced in a way that wasn't reflective of the overall PvP tendencies of the player base, and it ended up making the PvP balance very balanced around, or very fixated around, a very, very niche element of gameplay. So, how many wrong am I? Can we go? Can we get ready and go? Um, I just want to make sure we're all good to go. Uh, is this a quest? Uh, how many wrong am I? Three? Uh, alright, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, okay, that's fine. Uh, so to fix the game, everything else? Yeah, so I, I, I really think that's what happened. Uh, I think that Arena should have never been added into the game. Um, actually, no, no, let me go back and not say, I, I don't, I think that RBGs should have been added into the game before Arena. Uh, I think they should have been added into the game way before Arena. If RBGs had came out in Burning Crusade instead of Arena, I think that would have been a much better system. And I think it would have made a much more healthy ecosystem for WoW PvP as a whole. And I'm talking about like later on down the line. Like like nowadays, the system would be better because of that. RBGs now are dead because there was never a culture around them and a reward structure that actually supported them in a meaningful way. If they had done this at the very beginning, everything would have been fine. Uh, PvP was intended to be a minigame to test your character's PvP gear and center. Anything beyond that has been a hindrance to the game? Well, no, I, I don't think that anything beyond that has been a hindrance to the game. I think that in a lot of ways, uh, being in the P having the PvP gear and everything like that, and PvP is a, it's a part of the game, but you're right, of course, it's not a massive part of the game. It's not like this huge main thing that everybody should keep track of and, and pay attention to. I, I, I don't think that's the case either. Uh, I think that it's just a mixture of the two. So I'm not really too worried about it either way, though. Um, I'm hoping that... Like, I'm hoping that Blizzard balances PvP around normal PvP situations that players encounter rather than BlizzCon. Uh, I think that's really the way that I look at. I don't think they should... Man, come on, relax, bro. Man, fuck off. Fuck off. Look at this, this cock-ass that's trying to get on me, man. Alrighty, boys. Now let's make this fucking... Let's get these quests done. Alright, which ones do we need to do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna track all three of these. Okay, we're ready. Let's make it happen, guys. How do you feel about the community poll that needs 75% yes for adding content? I don't worry about that. Uh, if you want to balance way of competing in PvP? No, I don't think that there should be a balanced way of competing in PvP besides, like, a duel. I think a duel is the closest thing that you're ever gonna get. We can probably do two packs or three packs at a time. Uh, we're, we're gods, okay? Uh, besides that, I think it's a little bit too much. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't think that there should be, like, a super, super, super balanced way to compete in PvP. Just because of the way that, um, we need to kill the healing wards, yeah, thank you. Um, just because it's an MMO. Uh, I think if you want a balanced way to compete in PvP, you know what a really balanced way to compete in PvP is? Learn Counter-Strike. Yeah, learn Counter-Strike, how about that? And, uh, that's, that's a balanced way for you to compete. Uh, or learn an actual game that's, uh, that's built around PvP. Don't try to make WoW PvP some big mean, some big esport and everything like that, and make the entire rest of the game, uh, you know, worse off because of it. I think that's a bad idea, and I think that's what's happened too. Uh, I'm a big, uh, a big. Oh wow! Holy shit, that's really good. Damn. Okay, I'm gonna pass this. Uh, as I'm gonna destroy classic. Yeah, I have single-handedly ruined the game. Okay. Like, I, the, the game is actually worse off now, and the game is basically, uh, uh, let's be honest, it's basically dead now. Uh, yeah, the game is dead. They watched me do one dungeon ZF run, and they saw that, they were like, wow, you know what? We're not gonna play the game anymore. I thought this was fun, but because I watched Asmongold, I'm not having fun anymore. Mm. Big true, okay? Big fucking true. You know, is my fucking brain dead? Well, I, I don't, I don't, who cares? But the point is, like, I, I, I think that there's no one person. I think the only thing that's going to kill Classic is its community. 
Uh, that's the only thing that ever has the uh, the potential to kill classic. Uh, everything else is uh, is not going to do it at all. Uh, the game is a uh, uh, the game is there's a reason why people have wanted and remembered this game for ten years. Okay. And uh, it's not because of just nostalgia. Nostalgia is a big part of it, but there's also the part of it that means that the game is actually just an incredible, amazing game that people have been waiting for for years, right? People will grow tired of Classic? Of course they will. That doesn't mean they won't grow tired of it after playing it for tens of, maybe a, a thousand hours, right? I, I don't know how you can say, like, oh, they're going to get tired of playing the game for like, you know, uh, forever. Like, yeah, of course they're going to get tired of playing it after, you know, months. But it doesn't mean that, like, there aren't going to be months of time that they get to play and enjoy the game. And I think that's what a lot of people forget about. It's like, they're going to finish the content after they played it for hundreds of hours. And I think that's really what people don't remember. Is that all of these times that you're talking about, oh, they're just going to finish the content and then who cares? They're going to have played it for that time for so long, man. And, oh shit, I'm dying. Uh, and I think that's what makes it so good, is that... There's so much content that a player can go through, and that's what makes it so good. Uh, what's everyone's argument always? Just play CS, just some kind of shooter? WoW is the only proper game with this type of combat? Well, the reason why that's their argument is that they don't want the entire game to be designed around becoming an eSport. And, and I, I think that's a very, very valid concern to have. Uh, I don't want to have an MMO that's built around escapism and being able to... Where'd the other guy go? I guess he died? Uh, they don't want to have the game built around being a... Uh, uh, an esport, and so if you have a game right that fuck esports, um, it's I don't think fuck esports. I just don't want the game to be designed around them. I think it's a mistake for uh, it's like Fortnite has the same problem, right? Where you have like the high end players that want one thing. Jesus, dude, like this, dude, I this feels so much better than playing in retail, man. Like just doing this feels so good. I, I don't know what I can say besides that. This feels so fucking awesome. I love this, man. Uh, isn't Fortnite uh, Blizzard sucks at esports? I don't think Blizzard sucks at esports. Look at StarCraft. StarCraft was like the original esport. Uh, so I don't think they suck at it. It's just that I don't think they really know... I, I don't know. It, it's more complicated than that, I believe. But uh, overall, I think they could do a lot better. I'll say that for sure. Can we do like a few more big pulls, too? Uh, if we can, like maybe like five pulls and stuff, like these guys as well, maybe. Yeah, I get these guys. I think this should be okay. Hopefully, it'll be okay, and uh, that way we'll be able to uh, to get all the troll temper because we need a lot of those. Hopefully, I'll get a proc here. What's the Azerite proc? Wade Storm. Well, if the Az if my Azerite could proc Wade Storm, I'd be very happy. Let me say that. Okay, where's my where are my procs now, dude? After I make a big pull and then I don't get any procs to back it up, dude. Shit. I mean, Method, for instance, is ruining the game a lot. You can't join guilds if you don't have meta specs. Really? Like, really, you think you can't join any guild if you don't have a meta spec? Because I know plenty of guilds that'll just recruit you if you're a cool guy that'll play with people. Like, that's such a bullshit. That, that, that's such bullshit, man. Like, there are so many guilds that just want to have people in the guild who are just cool people that you can play with and do shit with. It's just like, why? Why even say shit like that? Uh, it's not true at all. Uh, I can understand, like, yeah, maybe there's, like, a couple of, like, super, super high-end try-hard guilds, and they're like, oh my god, we have to be the best guild on the server, we have to prove to everybody that we're the real fucking players, and we're so good at the game, and, you know, everything like that, right? Even after all the content's been cleared in less than a week. But, besides that, like, any guild that's just, like, kind of relatively casual, they're gonna be more than fine with you coming in there as, you know, like, maybe a Moonkin or something, as long as you're just, like, not AFK, and you have a good attitude, and people like you. Like, how many people have been in a guild where there was a guy in the guild who wasn't really that great of a player, but he was a really nice guy, so everybody just kept him around in the guild? Has anybody been in a guild like that? Like, am I the only one? Yes, everybody has. Okay, I thought so. Um, so... Shit, I got polyed out of my blade storm, that's annoying. Uh, you are that guy? Actually, you know who was that guy? Dragon was, at the very beginning. Uh, we were very concerned, like, at the very beginning, as soon as we recruited Dragon Saber, um, we didn't know if he was as good as the other Rat Paladin, because he wasn't doing as much damage, right, for whatever reason. And we talked to him, and he's just really a friendly, nice guy. And I said, I was like, listen, guys, I think we should keep him in the guild. He's a nice guy, I like him, and I think that's really what matters. We can always make somebody, hopefully, a little bit better. It seems like he wants to improve, and now he's the raid leader for my guild. So I think it's something that every single person needs to be aware of, that 
you shouldn't just focus entirely on like somebody's spec or anything like that. Uh, the main difficulty of like having a 40 man raid team is, uh, and the raids for 40 man are the 40 people. Beat that boss and be able to get people to want to be in your guild and stay in your guild and show up for your raids, and you'll be an incredible guild and you'll clear out, you'll clear all the content. That's the only thing that you really need to do, man. Uh, Thornicus, thank you very much for the five gifted subs, man. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, dude. Uh, as long as we're willing to improve and not be stubborn. Um, well, yeah, of course. I mean, and, and that's what we thought with Dragon, and so we, uh, we, we recruited him, right? And, and kept him in the guild. And, uh, that was what, that was the unanimous decision, right? And, uh, that, that's pretty much it. Uh, practice body quantity? Yeah, I mean, it's very, oh, we got one of these. Nice. Um, minus five strength. Minus 13, plus 13 stamina. I thought this gave, for some reason I thought that gave actually plus stamina, or plus strength. I guess not, that's too bad. I thought that actually be an upgrade for me. Too fucking bad, dude. Uh, what drove you to play Alliance? Uh, Zach picking Paladin. <laughs> Back in Vanilla WoW, whenever we couldn't play uh, Paladins on board. Uh, that's why. Uh, let me go with that real quick. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, arena matches 2 on 2 uh, would be awesome. I don't think so. Uh, I think if they did, here's the exception, okay? If they did an arena team or arena ladder that you could do completely independently of the game, right? Like a basically a a private server where people could play arenas on, I don't feel like that would be overly harmful to the game. I, I don't. I, I think that would be basically fine. But I also, I'm not looking forward to that happening. It's just like if that did happen, I wouldn't complain about it. You know what I mean? And I know that some people would really like that a lot. Uh, does that make sense? That's what everyone wants, though? Well, then I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm on your side. I just don't think that... I don't think Arena has done the game a lot of really big favors. Uh, I think that the only thing Arena has really done, and this is a good thing, is that it got people to want to get PvE gear so they could beat the shit out of people in Arena. That is a good thing, in my opinion. I pull these guys, too. Okay, please prop. Please prop. Please prop. Please proc. Please proc. Please. Yes. <laughs> I love it. You love to see it, boys. You love to see it. Okay, let's go up here and uh, we'll kill this next boss. Watch, this is the time that I'm going to get the sword. Yeah, I'm gonna get the sword this time for sure, okay? Yeah, alright, let's go. Uh, so let's damage the mage. Shut the fuck up, dude. Shut the fuck up, dude. Uh, what are you using the bar up top? Arena was actually the best thing ever made to the game. Just because you get people playing the game for a reason. Well, I mean, there were good things about Arena, right? But I believe there were also bad things too. And I, if you can't understand where I'm coming from with like the, the harm that's done to the game, I think it's just a matter of, of, uh, of perspective. And I, I don't really like what Arena has kind of done with, like, basically all balance in the game is built around Mythic Raids, Mythic Plus, and Arena 3v3. That's it. That's what everything is balanced around. And I don't know about you guys, but I feel like that's a really, really narrow part of the game. And that's like Retail WoW. And I would hate to see Vanilla WoW go down that same route. Uh, I want to see the game be a world. I want to see it be something that's greater than just bullshit like that. I want to see people be able to play the game and however they want to, right? And all of these different elements, like questing, world questing, like farming, and just like all of these different elements of the game that don't exist anymore. And it, it's really sad that they don't, but there it is. Like nowadays, the game just feels like it's so narrow. Give me the sword. That's a bear. That's a bear. Uh, I don't need bear. I only need tiger at this point. Uh, I'm probably never going to get a tiger either. It's the way it goes. I uh, say, uh, say you want Warrior to say Terrible OP. Okay, so you are right. I do want Warrior to say Terribly OP. That's the main reason why I didn't want Jeff to leave WoW, is because he was a main Warrior, and as long as Jeff was a main, uh, was, was the lead dev in WoW, uh, everything in the game would be just fine. Uh, I would always be doing top DPS, I would two-shot Clothies, and it felt great. But as soon as, as soon as Jeff left, that's whenever they started adding in, they got rid of armor penetration. And, you know, the, everything just kind of went downhill from there, man. It was sad. Pulled these guys, too. And uh, maybe get a couple of the zombies here, too. Uh, why are you going to farm to, uh, it's Colossal Level 60 or the Pop Room? 
Uh, are you gonna farm uh, these item costs? Oh, items? I don't know if I'm gonna farm a lot at level 60. Uh, maybe like a couple of things for like reputation, but besides that, I'm not really gonna worry about it too much, honestly. I just kinda wanna play the game, you know? Like, my goal is always to kind of, uh, you know, entertain the audience and get people to watch and, you know, everything like that. That's, that's always been what I've been about. Not necessarily, uh, you know, farming stuff or anything like that. I used to do a lot of farming guides, but, like, nowadays I'm not really as much into it. I think we might have pulled too many mobs. Mmm. Mmm. Holy shit, man. No, 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 no. You can do it. Can you battle res me? No, there's no way you can. Because the the thing is, is a three versus three versus three situation in a in an arena is not a normal PvP situation. It is a very, very specific niche situation, and because of that. Whenever the game is balanced around that niche situation, all other situations besides that situation are not balanced for properly. Because of that, I feel like the game lost an element of its balance that it used to have. Right? Uh, maybe because you're bad? W w wait a minute. Like, so you can't dislike Arena? You think it's bad? Like, what does this have to do with being bad? This is something that's very... Like, a lot of people agree with this. Uh, I just feel like this is an MMO, a massively multiplayer online game. What a big surprise that I think that three players versus three players should not be the meta for determining skill in a massively multiplayer online game. I think that it should be either 6v6 RBGs or 10v10. That should be the meta for if you are the best player, that or a duel. Your dick versus their dick. Head to head. That's it. One of the two. Six? Well, I mean, there's a number of reasons why six is better. But, uh, just not optimized. Yeah, it, it, it's annoying. Uh, yeah, it's in a most of teamwork should be a, a factor. Yeah, I think so. Um, let's see. Uh, but isn't balance, uh, given through arena? Being given through arena? Well, no, because what, what, if somebody is good in, in, like, a 3v3, that doesn't necessarily mean they're good in a solo situation, right? So... If like let's say, how much of the per how much what percentage of the player base do you think actively engages in three v three arenas in, in current WoW? Like let, let's just talk about that, right? What percentage of the player base do you think actively encourage? Point three percent, two percent? Okay, let's say like, all right. So mo the the most common number here is five percent. Let's go with let's go with ten. Let's double it. Let, let, let's let's double it. Ten percent. That means that the game is not being balanced around 90% of the PvP situations that players can counter. 90% of the player situations that people in PvP and situations that players encounter, the game is not balanced for. That's not how it works. Yes, it is. Someone who's really good in 3v3 is not necessarily really good in solos. Like, I, I don't know what else to say. So what? You said balance doesn't matter in WoW? It's not a matter of... It matters, but it's never going to be perfect. But I think that they should strive towards it being good. I mean, it, it matters to an extent. They can never achieve perfect balance. They don't want to. That would make the game boring. You know? I, I, I'm sorry. Uh, put Gladiator in a 1v1 situation and see what happens. The stupidity, man. Like, how... Pull these guys, pull these guys. Okay, uh, let's try and get this done this time. Okay, I'm gonna get proc right here. It's fine. Never mind. Let me ask the people who are most probably haven't touched retail WoW in years. Well, no, I, I think that a lot of people probably do play retail WoW, um, or they have in, in the past. I mean, they know what arena is. Everybody has an opinion on it at least, which doesn't necessarily mean they know what it is. But uh, it, 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 I think that's a pretty good determining factor. Forty v forty, yeah. 
on all two out of ten. They never buffed or nerfed anything because of Arena. Wait, somebody says they never buffed or nerfed anything because of Arena. Ah, uh, <laughs> if only that was the case. Uh, I just, listen, I just think that the meta for a player testing their skill against another player should either be a duel or it should be a, um, uh, a, a battleground. I think battlegrounds are better for PvP. They're better for the game than arenas are. I don't think arenas are a very good uh, meta for PvP. And I think that Blizzard has made a mistake by uh, emphasizing them so much. That's the point that I'm making, okay? Uh, yeah, skill cap in BGs and duels is much lower. Yeah, well, it's not about the skill cap. Like, that's the thing. Like, the fixation on, like, being skilled at the game is not... That's not about that. Like, being skilled at the game, I, I, it's like a red herring. Like, you know what's actually important? is having fun. And I don't think that arena is fun for a lot of people. And do you know how I know that it's not fun? Is because most people don't do it. But back in the day, everybody did BGs. It's not about being skilled. Being skilled doesn't matter. Having fun matters. That's subjective? Well, no. Yeah, that is subjective. But I think that it, everybody knows that most people don't do arenas, right? Everybody knows that. That's not... I, don't, I feel like that's... There's nobody that's going to disagree that most people do not do 3v3 arenas. Like, the majority of players do not interface with 3v3 arenas. Everybody knows that. So because of that... That means that the game is being balanced, and the main mode of balance in the game, the main way that the Blizzard developers see PvP balance is a way that most of the player base does not interface with. If you can't see the problem with that, there's no point even talking. Uh, let's do these zombies. Let's do zombies. Let's do zombies. Uh, we might as well. I mean, it's going to be basically like turning in a quest. Uh, we'll get experience and just like get these out of the way. I kind of agree with you. Once you introduce more and more players, uh, does this group want to have voice chat? Uh, now I've just used their names. I want to know more. Uh, you want the game to have as much uh, different things to do as possible because we will get bored doing the same shit at the same time. Okay, so you want to have it. Yeah, want that game to have different things. You're right, and so that's true. But that doesn't mean that like everything. Just because something is in the game and something is different, that doesn't mean that there's going to be something automatically positive coming out of it. Uh, yeah, let me just get half. There's not, like, every single thing in the game, just because it's a new thing in the game or something like that, doesn't necessarily mean that it's good. Uh, I feel like there are certain things in the game, it's like LFR, you can use that same logic with LFR, and I don't think it exists for that either. Uh, I remember whenever Duel McConnell's Rap Paladin, I felt an imbalance from the screen. Oh yeah, of course, obviously, like, duels are going to be uh, uh, a little bit unfair, but, like, at 60, I'm obviously going to have a much better chance than I do at, like, level 40, too. And, uh, yeah, of course, like, Rep Paladins are set up to win at, like, low levels, though. I mean, that kind of goes without saying. Anybody that ever has played a Rep Paladin or a Warrior uh, knows that. There we go. All right. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, we'll get the next pack, too, in just a second. Okay, where are these guys? Do you guys, uh, um, what do you call it? Just one second. Do you guys that you just got about 1 million, 11 million views in a single week? Good, I'm glad. Uh, yeah, I, I think so. Uh, I'm, I, I do think I've gotten a lot. Like, let's see, how many, uh, how many views do I have? 81 million views. So I've been getting, like, a, yeah, the channel's been popping off, dude. Like, let's be honest. Channel's been popping off. Thank you, guys. It means a lot. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. All right, uh, Roy's gonna be ready in just a second, and we'll go ahead and we'll do another pull. And we'll do all, we'll get all the rest of the zombies here, and, uh, then we'll be done. Uh, buffs and nerfs are because of PvE. You can name smaller buffs. The game being CD-based is because of PvE. As one, you're wrong there? Well... I think that, like, so the game being CD-based because of PvE, um, I feel like a lot of the timing on CDs is probably based around Arena, and that way people have, like, counterplay for each CD that other, uh, that other players can use. So I, I don't know really how true that is at all. Why did that, why did my fucking thing go away? I don't understand. Like, I, I, I didn't even do anything, and it, it just canceled it out of nowhere. Yeah, I, I, don't, I think that obviously like PvE is the main mode of the game. Like, most players deal in PvE. So I do think that PvE is what Blizzard should balance the game around. PvE. Uh, it doesn't make any sense to balance around PvP because every single player does PvE, but not every player does PvP. Uh, PvP has always been a smaller part of the game than PvP. And uh, I know there's a lot of like really, really serious PvPers that don't want to admit that, 
but we all know that to be the truth. Like, everybody knows that. Uh, I, I like it not being balanced. I'm okay with it not being balanced, but I'm not okay with it being balanced around something that's that's not the main way that people play the game. Because I don't think that works in the long run. And I don't think that it's worked for retail either. And it's made BGs boring. And it's made RBGs pointless. And that's the main issue that I don't like. Take a drink here. Did you get one of the swords from ZF yet? Nope. Uh, for Zoom BRB. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we'll just clear all the trash in the next room anyway. It's not a big deal. There we go. This troll temper shit, man. This is taking forever. Uh, somehow my uh, my chat's crashed one uh, again. We need a blade storm emote. Actually, that's a good idea. I should do that. <laughs> that's a really good idea. Fuck, dude. I never thought of that. Okay, just give me one second. I think my chat crashed. Uh, well, a lot of people obviously like have opinions on this kind of stuff. So I think that there's just so many people trying to talk that it just crashed my chat. It, it's actually crazy, like how many people are trying to get in on this. And uh, I'm glad though. I'm not. It's not like I'm I'm un, I'm happy about it. that. That's awesome. Okay, uh, let's see, is this working here? Okay, is that safe? Don't go anything else? Uh, just one second here. Okay. Okay, what's your favorite whenever it comes to PvP? Uh, I would say probably Wrath of the Lich King. Okay. One second here. Uh, I can't balance around World PvP. No, but I, I didn't say you should balance around World PvP. Wait, I, I never said that. I, I never said you should balance around War PB. Uh, I think that really, probably the main thing that you should balance around is someone's effectiveness in solo situations and large group situations. I think small group situations, like groups of like three and five and stuff like that, shouldn't really be the meta because that's not normally what people do. Because battlegrounds exist, so usually you're either playing by yourself or with like maybe a, a bunch of other people. Very rarely are there 3v3 situations that occur naturally. Uh, so that's where I think the problem is. Well, what do you think the re what do you think about the respect fee? Here's what I think about the respect fee. No changes. Here's also what I think about the respect fee. I fucking hate it. So uh, yeah, that that that's how I feel about it. I fucking hate the respect fee, dude. It's so annoying, man. It's so much fucking money, dude. It's so much fucking money. Like, I, I, I hate it, man. Like, even, like, it doesn't matter. Like, if people give me gold, I'm still gonna feel like a fucking idiot for respecting for 50G, dude. I will never feel good about that. I've always hated that. It's always annoyed the fucking shit out of me. And it's never going to change, okay? And that's too bad for me. I don't even want it to change. But it doesn't mean that I, uh, I can't recognize that it being expensive. It's really fucking annoying. Like, whenever I was playing on a beta, and we were able to just respec basically for free, God, I loved it. I could just say, oh, I want to go prot. Let's just go prot real quick. Oh, I want to go DPS. Let's just go DPS. Great. Let's do both of these. It's amazing. Do you hope for a BlizzCon Classic Duel Tournament? Uh, no, I don't think so. Um, I don't think BlizzCon, uh, would do that, or Blizzard would do that. Uh, if they would, though, like, I'd be glad to host it. I mean, if they want me to do it, I, I could absolutely do that. It'd be really fun for me, actually. I would love to. Uh, facial hair bothers me. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Okay. Uh, do you ever think Riot Battlegrounds should be more fun to watch for an average viewer than arenas? Absolutely. Absolutely. Like, RBGs are much better to watch than arena. I think my computer's crashing. Are, are we fine? Okay, just a second. Uh, let's see. Are we lagging here? Let me just go ahead and fix this, okay? It's crashing? Yeah. Give me a second. Let me just close my browser and reopen it. Uh, there's like a memory leak on Firefox, and yeah, it's it's hogging 15 gigabytes of RAM. 15 gigabytes of RAM. I feel like that's, uh, it's a little bit too much. I don't know about you guys, but, uh, it seems a little bit too much. All right, let me loot this, and I'll start it up as soon as I can. Okay, give me one second here. Throw away my banana bread. I don't want this. Okay, and here we go. Jesus Christ, this is such a piece of shit program. Like, what happened to Firefox? Like, it used to never be an issue. And, like, now, like, Firefox just crashes constantly. It just never works at all. It's so annoying. Okay, uh, looks like everything's good. And uh, let me try to reopen up my browser and everything. And 
Hopefully this should be fine. Okay, uh, just give me one second here. Let me open up uh, my dashboard. Um, okay. My Twitter. Okay. Alrighty. I think that we're good now, boys. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, things just got a little bit fucked up out of nowhere. Uh, I don't know why that happened. Okay, we are good now. Everything is fine. Firefox is working ad blockers. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Use Chrome. I feel like... What the fuck is this? What's this? Holy shit. Okay, I'm dead again. Sometimes you get got, dude. Sorry. Uh, I was probably going to think that Arena is good. But overall, like, I, I just... I, I don't think that it's done the game any favors in terms of balance. And that's really the issue that I have with it. I know that a lot of people like Arena. Uh, that's the point that I, I, I know that a lot of people like Arena. I don't need to have somebody tell me that. I'm, I'm fully aware. But I think that a lot more people like BGs. And a lot more people like, you know, dueling and like world PvP. It's more accessible to them. And I think that the interactions and the combat is more rewarding. So uh, Arena, I just don't really feel like... I feel like they listen to too many people. Too many people that are like just super, super tryhard about the game. They're so tryhard about the game. And they ended up making the game reinforce those try-hard players' uh, gameplay. And I don't think that helped the game at all. Uh, at all. Uh, Pew Pierce haven't been happy since Wrath of the Lich King. What are you talking about? Well, I didn't say that they were happy about the game, but I was talking about being happy about the idea of an arena, right? Like, the, the existence of arena, not necessarily the balance or the current state of arena, but the existence of the entity of arena itself. So those are two separate things. Okay, here we go. Make this happen, boys. I swear to God, man, if I don't get the, if I don't get this sword, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna be so mad. Do you think they're gonna make balance changes even if they add arena? They're not gonna add arena to Classic WoW, man. Like I I know that. Listen, I know that people are getting hopped up into a frenzy by uh, you know YouTubers and stuff like that, but it's not gonna happen, man. They're not gonna do, they're not gonna do it. Like, all these, like, changes and, like, balance changes, it's not gonna happen. Just relax, guys. The game is, the, the game is here to stay. Uh, be, be happy and enjoy what you've been waiting years to play. Instead of trying to figure out doomsday circumstances that allow you to kind of, you know, be negative. Uh, I, I don't see the point in that. Just play the game and enjoy it. That's all. Like, uh, yeah, I can't? Yeah, you're in queue. I, I guess so. Okay, I'm ready whenever you guys are. Let me wait a little bit for this. Kill this guy right here. Okay, never mind. All right, I better get a proc here. I better get a proc here. I better get a proc here. If I don't get a proc here, I'm mad. If I don't get